effective po sa ating uh, disaster response agencies and also to the LGUs that might be affected by the volcano's increasing activity. Well, we are already, uh, we have been watching, of course, we have been watching both Mayon and Taal. Uh, Taal, it seems, is, uh, is uh, uh, not in such a precarious, in such a dangerous situation. Mayon is a little bit more uh, advanced in terms of uh, uh, the, hindi, hindi pa naman lumalabas yung lava. Uh, so, but that's the, if the lava flow starts, that's when we really have a, a, a disaster. Right now, uh, what we are doing is preparing and moving people away from the area uh, so that uh, should the time come, uh, I, I hope it doesn't happen, but unfortunately the science tells us na parang ganun na nga mangyayari kasi yung the, the, the lid or the cap uh, on top of the on top of the lava is uh, slowly rising, not so slowly rising, at paka puputok nga, kaya nakabang tayo ng husto. At nakaredy na naman tayo, at uh, ganun naman talaga ang ating ginagawa. We watch it very, very closely, make sure that any of the communities that could be affected are evacuated and are, be, are given uh, assistance uh, while they are in uh, while they are evacuated until the time that that they can return to their homes so it's the same thing yung taal has the problem is the release of the gas may toxic gas na medyo naramdaman na ng mga ibang uh, na ibang tiga doon at uh, yun the DOH is looking after those people and we have we have analyzed the problem and we know uh, where the wind is blowing kaya alam na natin kung saan dadaan yung mga toxic na gases kaya paiiwasi na natin yung mga yung mga uh, mga tao na nakatira doon sa area na yun. All right. Thank you sir Mela Les Moras PTV4. Hi, good evening, sir. Sir, ilang linggo na lamang po ay ikalawang State of the Nation address nyo niya. Kumusta po yung paghahanda para rito? At ano yung mga dapat uh, i-expect ng mga tao mula sa inyong ikalawang sona? Ah, well, they, don't, let me, ano, let me naman uh, uh, preserve some, ano, uh, keep it until it, the time, the time comes. Well, the truth of the matter is we're still preparing everything, all the materials that we're uh, going to put together. Like any sauna, it will be a report to the nation as to what the situation uh, has, what happened uh, in the last year since the last sauna, uh, what, uh, where we are now, what we have managed to do, and where we still have work to do. Uh, and that is essentially the, the, the template that we're going to use. So the, the things that I mentioned in the first sauna, we will have a look and see ano na nangyari doon sa mga ating mga pinag-usapan yung, na, na, yung unang sauna. At sa palagay ko naman, meron naman tayo ipapakita and that's, where, that's what the content of the sauna I, I think will, will probably be. Okay. Thank you, sir. Last question from uh, CCTV. Thank you so much, Secretary. Thank you so much, uh, President. I would like to know that uh, because tomorrow marks the anniversary of uh, China Friendship Day, so how do you expect and how will you strengthen the relationship between China and the Philippines? Well, we were just talking with the ambassador, and there are several things that we have uh, that we have. We're slowly the process that we began um, after my visit to President Xi and to China in January. Uh, we have developed those uh, those concepts, the concepts of communication, uh, the um, areas of, of uh, the 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 issues about uh, the fishing grounds. Uh, all of these things are continuing, and we perhaps soon we will be able to report. And this is the way that we strengthen uh, this relationship that we have with China. Of course, on the, on the private sector side, this is going on without any, any, any stop. It, the, the opportunities that China has given the Philippines and the Philippine corporations and Filipinos in general uh, have been uh, invaluable to, to, to the Philippines. And that's why that, that, that continues. Uh, whatever else happens, that this relationship, again, will not be defined by uh, the differences, but by our common areas of interest and our common beliefs and the, the similarities in our culture, which uh, we both countries will understand very well. I think that is a very fertile ground to build, to plant our relationship and keep it growing. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, Malakanyang Press Corps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.